Hey, what's up? It's Phoenix. I'm super stoked because I always like being able to contribute to my YouTube channel. I enjoy making the videos and interacting with my audience and engaging with people online. I am a little bummed because today my car broke down in the middle of traffic and so this obviously puts a pinch on what I need to do for work and um, getting to work and, and transportation and these things and it's the holidays and it may take a while to get fixed and it'll probably be expensive, but I'm trying to keep a positive attitude and I do have a lot of people that help and support me. I was gonna make a video today, but um, unfortunately this happened and so I lost a lot of time because I had to wait a while to get my car towed and then get everything in the shop and get everything going and it was after hours, so it definitely took a while. But I do plan on making some videos uh, soon. It'll be a little bit difficult with the holidays and with plans I have, but I'm going to try to make some more videos and do what I love doing. I did want to give a little bit of a um, description of kind of my thought process on YouTube, which is that I really enjoy making videos. I like using my camera, being able to edit it, being able to do different topics like book reviews or reading my poems or playing music. And I love being able to express that side of myself and I think that YouTube is a great resource for that and videos in general being able to make that and I really enjoy the process. I try to think of what I've been thinking about with this book called Free Play. I can never pronounce the author's name, so forgive me, but it's a book called Free Play and I really like the book. I would like to talk about it at some time, at some point in the future, because um, I think that it's a really interesting book and what I've been trying to think about is it's so easy to get caught up in fame and fortune and money and attention and wanting all of these things because we want to succeed and we want people to like us. <laughs> but free play is all about improvisation and creativity in the moment. And kind of what I've been thinking about is even if I do care about external and extrinsic rewards, external validation, I really like making these videos because it's such an open-hearted process. I love being able to engage with people and it makes me really happy. And I feel like I'm being creative and all of that makes me really happy to be able to do. And so true, sometimes it can be kind of lonely when you feel like you're not being validated, as hopeless as that probably sounds, like why am I worried about validation when I should be focusing on the project at hand, but that is actually what I have been focusing on is the project at hand. And I really like making these videos, and I like being able to share the side of myself with people. And I'm really excited for the future, I'm excited about life, I had just been coming back from my guitar lesson whenever my car broke down. It really was a very jarring experience. But anyway, the point that I'm getting at is I'm very grateful for my life and the things that I have in my life, and I'm grateful that I get to experience the things that I do and that I get to write and that I have such a good job where I can help people and that I can learn so much from the world and from my experiences and even from the adversity and the difficulties. And I really have been enjoying playing guitar so, for instance, I went to a recital on Saturday where I got to play System of a Down. I played the song Toxicity on guitar. That was super fun. I also was able to read a poem at a poetry event. I love being able to do that. And I really do have a lot of love and support in my life, and that definitely means a lot to me. I'm glad that I have family and friends and people that care about me because that really helps me. And so the point I wanted to get at, the whole point of referencing this as well as free play and some of these other things is I really try to keep in mind the creative spirit. I try to keep in mind that I love doing this kind of work and expressing myself in a creative way. So I've been kind of researching creativity, thinking about Andrew Huberman's approach to creativity with what he knows about biology, for instance, and thinking about the creative things that I've learned in that book, Free Play. And a lot of it is just keeping an open-ended, open-minded process. I'm writing my nonfiction book right now, which I call Head Game. And... That book is super exciting because I feel like it's really fun that I get to do um, because um, I just really enjoy the process and I'm glad that I'm able to write that book and focus on some of my ideas and really focusing on what I want to express and not putting any parameters on it. In addition to that, I'm editing my book, Infinite Mind, which is very time consuming because it's a two volume book. It's a, it's a massive gargantuan two volume series. But I really am glad I was able to do that, and it was inspired by Mr. Robot, as people may or may not know. I can't remember if I've mentioned it yet on my channel, but so that's super fun. And so it definitely is really fun having these projects. And so my idea is, you know, to just keep the, the kind of free-spirited, lighthearted approach and keep doing things that make me happy 
and I am really in a good place even if things are difficult. And um, I believe in that improvisational spirit, the notion of bricolage, which is this idea in, in French that you basically focus on using what you have available and becoming a master of what's available instead of, you know, wanting too many things and making these big productions. It's more about the small scale things. And I, I like that idea because I really like making YouTube. I know that it's it's definitely a long shot actually being a successful YouTuber just because of the way that the algorithms work and are stacked against creators, the way that it's really hard to stand out at all. And what I learned recently, which is just the fact that there, there are so many creators that are trying to make it. And so when I made my channel years ago, my whole thought process was just a way of expressing myself. I'll admit that I hoped that it would help me to uh, get the word out about my books, which I think it has to a degree. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gotten a lot of people's interest in my books, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm still glad that I'm able to share that part of myself and that, you know, even though I haven't been able to publish a book in a while, the last book I was able to publish was Mindblade. I understand that, you know, just working through it and trying to, you know, express myself and show kind of what I've been working on, show off what I've been working on and just keeping a positive attitude because that's what's really important to me. And so even if it's very difficult to make it as a YouTuber, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about even even getting published right now. I mean, I am submitting stuff and trying to self-publish and I do want to publish more. I've got a lot of material, but I'm just trying to keep the positive attitude and just focus on what I'm working on now. And so I am very hopeful about that. So yeah, I'm Phoenix, just kind of an update on kind of what I've been thinking about and what I've been going through. And um, I hope that you find some kind of inspiration through the process and I hope to be making more videos soon. So keep a lookout. I'm Phoenix. Thank you for watching. I encourage you to check out my other videos on my channel. I appreciate you watching. And I will see you next time.